Okay. Hi, everybody. Turns out we weren't live. We got to say hello all over again. Hi, rerun watchers. Wow, Barbara Fisher's quick. Quick to the draw. Welcome, everybody. We started a few minutes early because uh, just to keep you on your toes, basically. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm here with uh, Mary Kate O'Connell and Mary, two of our favorite lounge cadets. Mary Kate O'Connell. Rosie. <laughs> wow, this looks better than ever. Oh, well, thanks. I'm not. You're, you look better than ever. This is. I'll give you guys the fly on the wall view of all four cameras here. You can see this is this is a rare glimpse of um, what goes on when we're getting ready to start the show. A little little backstage yeah. glimpse into the it's what the makes the room. magic. <laughs> the green room. The, final the green room. Yeah. That's what we should have. They kept one room just off the green room over there. We just could. Waiting in the wings. We could. Like, well, look, it's Peggy Farrow. Oh, look. Yeah, that's a nice idea. It's Mario McNeil. What? <laughs> At the news, my dad. Nice to see you, Gaia. Wonderful to see you, Barbara I Fisher. A would be the last Barbara Fisher, tell the sun to leave the sky. It's Barbara Fisher. Barbara Fisher, ask a baby not to cry. It's Barbara Fisher. Pianist in Buffalo has to play Barbara Fisher into the room, even though she moved to the Carolinas. Yeah. <laughs> she still gets played in. She's here with us, and I'm, I'm. This is the part of the show at the beginning where I I wrestle with my monitor here so that I could see see what the home lounge cadets are commenting about, requesting. Gossiping and uh, technology. Yeah, everything about this technology is amazing except the ability of my tablet to watch the show for some reason. It's great. Right. Give a little uh, shout out to our lounge cadets to the Boston Bob, to our Jocko. Jack Jocko, yes. He's in everybody's yeah. yeah, I um, checked into the situation today, mm -hmm. and he's, he's doing a little bit better. Yeah. But we, he's we, doing it on his own terms, and that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You know, you, yeah, you don't know if Jack was a very good person. You don't know if you're a man, but you would. It's just like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, very much on everything. You know, astrally connected. And yeah. Yeah, he's, he's really got his act together. I know. He's I amazing. Yeah, you know, we should all want to grow up to be Jocko. <laughs> <laughs> but that involves growing up as well. Or, if, yeah, or, giving, or not growing up. Or giving the perception. Okay, well, this is, this is giving me the usual heartache of trying to get my tablet. All it has to do is watch the show. It's all it has, just like everybody else. Yeah. And that way I use the tablet uh -huh. to see their comments and things. That's all. So I'm here and I can actually see them as soon as they... <laughs> I like how it rolls in, she just walks around. Yeah. How's the sound out there, ladies and gentlemen? I suspect it's perfect. Thank you. 
the show where yes. usually the discussion involves president of WBIG TV, Ryan Lysars, and either he and I, or he and I and Mary, are uh, discussing. I wonder, you know, who's going to be on the show? Maybe, maybe nobody. Maybe, maybe a lot of people. Maybe nobody, right? And ironically, he's not here. He's at a retirement party, but he's he's coming. Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG TV. That's how those blackmail transactions usually are. They're, they're quick. Here's where I can, now it's working. See, I can I hear myself telling jokes and we'll, we'll know that the audio is great. I, I still can't see them. I'm not seeing any comments, but it's working, so we'll see if it. They, they are commenting. Hiya, Johnny Otts. Nice to see you, sir. In Virginia Town, wall to wall. Great, great. Appreciate that sound check. Richard Lambert, ladies and gentlemen. Greetings from Florida. Did uh, Mary Kate O'Connell? Did you know that Richard Lambert's uh, in Florida? Well, I, I saw some photos of uh, some legs laying in the sun. So perhaps <laughs> I oh, was, that could have been here. Could have been. Yeah. Could have been <laughs> Beaver <laughs> Island. <laughs> Well, nice to have you joining us from Florida, Richard Lambert. That, that's fantastic. And from, I always forget where Frank, you know, Frank de Cesare, our official documentarian, mm -hmm. is that what you'd call him? Or is that a political party, a documentarian, or a religious affiliation? Well, he's a, he's a, he's a professional, he makes movies and documentaries, and he's, he's, set his sights on Lounge Academy. Um, now, because he's such a world traveler and he's on assignment so much, what, all of a sudden he was an anchor on some TV news channel and then, oh, I did not yeah, and then all of a sudden he's back making movies. And I keep, where, where are you? I always put you in the wrong state. I always put Frank in the wrong state. Where are you, in Florida? I thought he was in Arizona and I think he corrected me last time. I think he said Florida, and GT's with us, our audio engineer, and engineer, engineer, he engineers everything. He says it sounds good, it's good, and uh, I'm going to make some comments here, just to see if I could, here's HHH, just to see if I get this. It's really weird, this tablet has a mind of its own. You'd think for $109 it would, you know, do a good job. <laughs> Black Monday sale price, Black Friday. Sarasota. That's Florida to you and me. I just had Arizona So he's not far from Richard Lambert. Oh, yeah. Richard, where are you in, in Florida? Are you near uh, Frank de Cesare? Because he'll, he'll make a movie about you if you play your cards right. Barbara Fisher, meanwhile, not to be outdone, is in a cab watching. This is amazing. She's speeding around in a cab. On the way to Carlisle. She's at the Carlisle? She's on the way to the Carlisle. Wow. I do not think they will play me in. Oh, I bet they do. But last night and uh, oh, was yeah, wonderful. Yeah. as uh, cool. Hey, puppy. Bemelman hand-painted wallpaper is. Yeah. You were not there. Good three-piece string trio, but I'm afraid you have spoiled me. Well, she's, she's very generous with the praise. <laughs> we'll take you... Uh, with me tonight with earphones, if 
Bobby Short's uh, Aragon, except in Buffalo. Isn't that nice? Wow, that's that's why we love Barbara. Barbara Fisher. Yeah. Now, Frank DeCesare, just for the record, um, has stated that he lived in Lake Charles, Louisiana. I'm out. She's on. So everyone can get this show with me. I'm, I'm on, but it's not doing me any good because the, the comments aren't showing up for some reason. <laughs> Weird. Oh, well. So I have to turn around to see the comments okay. until it fixes itself. Audio sounds great, Frank says. It's amazing everything works as well as it has been working. Historic Hotel. And we're broadcasting from the heart of Buffalo's downtown core business, government, and lounge district, right near Niagara Square. Literally the center of everything. We're just, we're just three doors down from Niagara Square for crying out loud. We are. We do have that location thing going on. Which really doesn't matter on the internet. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are, but just in case it matters, we, we've got that too. We're here every Friday night between 7 and 11 p.m. right here on my Facebook wall. We explore the Great American Songbook. We never know what stars, show business personalities are going to walk in. Because the producers never tell. We don't want to know. Because nothing here is scripted. We like the spontaneity. You may have guessed that. at the Carlisle tonight, simulcasting, thanks to WBIG-TV's Barbara Fisher, who's going to take her, take her device into the Carlisle and plug her earphone in and watch Lounge Academy. That's kind of exciting for me, just to think that, uh, that electronically, I'm actually going to be performing in the Carlisle. Uh, by some narrow definition.
George, uh, F4, are you doing your uh, you doing your tours this year? Your architectural tours down here? Just curious. Waiting for Paul Capote to show up. He's the lounge critic. The Janice Hogan of the lounge piano. Might have to call. Maybe I'll call Paul Capote. You know, like Jocko used to do. Oh, yeah, he'd say, where are you? Yeah, he'd say, Mary Kate O'Connell added a photo of me, according to, the, according to my phone. Let's see if we can get uh, lounge piano critic Paul Kokoda on the phone. This is Paul Leduca came up. He's a fabulous uh, jazz bassist who moved out of town. Hope I'm using the right. It says it's his mobile. I'll let you all hear. It's seven from the top. There's no secrets here. Yeah, hi, uh, Paul Kokoda. This is Howard Goldman from Lounge Academy calling. Yeah, yeah this is... This is Howard Goldman at Lounge Academy, Paul Kokoda. Uh, you're live on the air, and uh, we're wondering if you're going to be in your, your chair by the piano side this evening. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you, speak up or I'm going to hang up. Speak up. All right. Is this any better, sir? Is the connection any better? Howard Goldman calling from Lounge Academy. Yes. Well, well, it is a crank call. Um, I was just wondering, uh, you know, I'm giving you the old, you know, the way Jocko used to call you, and when he wor worried whether you were going to be filling your, your, your chair here by the piano, uh, Mary Kate O'Connell wants to know. He's on his way, ladies okay. and gentlemen. All right. He's on his way. Say that one more time for the home audience. No, but um, I'm bringing a pizza, and so I'm going to the pizzeria person. Okay, okay. well, you're forgiven. Put anchovies, on, put anchovies on a couple slices for, for me. Okay. See that? All right. All right. Okay, I'll let you go. I don't want to hold you up. All right. Thanks for coming. Well, that worked out well. See? I don't have to get up from the piano, and I, I can turn the world. Turn the world with your smile or your crank call. Yeah. He says... He says, one more time or I'm going to hang up. I can't hear what, you know. <laughs> I don't know who this is. We'd like to welcome Karen Clogger to the lounge. Always a pleasure. Karen will be will be lounging, planning, planning on lounging till seven till eleven o'clock. Um, from seven to eleven here. So you you know keep us keep us on your lounge device in the background or whatever you're doing and pop in and out and say hello to us. Clogger says hi, Mary. Oh, nice. Yeah, good old Electra. I just found that beautiful picture here of Electra. You just saw the picture? I found it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mary saying she just found, uh, happened upon uh, a beautiful. Yeah, I set it aside because I she set it aside. Yeah, you had several prints of it. A beautiful photograph I took of uh, Electra. I really think I, I, I'll do. Um, you know, I should bring I should bring that photo down here and put it up. 
you know, I'm gonna. We should yeah, frame, frame that yeah. and put put it on. So it's like right there. Well, it would, but that's I'm, I've got some you know kind of staging ideas for that. You know, like it's part of the set. You know, so. Okay. You see, we did add some uh, original art around around the perimeter of the lounge. Karen, we're gonna we're gonna bring up. It's a portrait I, I photographed of uh, Electra. I'm sure we're talking about the same picture, Mary and I. Although I took I took a few pictures that I loved of Electra. Um, she was such a great she was a great subject. Ironically, because she's the one that took photographs of everybody all day long for her job at the DMV for the driver's licenses. And we, I think. I loved Electra. Mary Cato loved Electra too. Not surprised. Well, oh, nice. It was a golden era that I missed. I've heard so much about it with Ray Emmerman. Yeah. She had a picture of them there uh, in her in her apartment that she showed me with Ray Emmerman. And, she even she even uh, told me part of the act, and it was all kind of kind of obscene. <laughs> <laughs> and she she could carry it off, you know. She was she was she was an amazing. She had a lot of talent that she didn't use, that she didn't utilize, like professionally, yeah. you know. But she could have because it was there. I I got her on. Um, We were invited on, uh, to go on a TV show, and, and I asked Electra and, to come, and they, they, they were anxious. The show was anxious, they were Electra. It was uh, Off Beach Cinema, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, right? And uh, she, she, she completely took over. She, she stole the show. It was amazing. And the minute she walked in, like we got there first, the show hadn't started yet. And uh, we're, we're in the studio, you know, where they shoot it with all the, the sets, all the fake backgrounds and stuff. Yeah. And the equipment. And then Electric comes in, you know, in, in, on time, but after we got there, just walks in doing, doing the old party twirl with her finger, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she could really enter her room. Yes. And, uh, and they hadn't, they hadn't, they didn't know Electra. This was their first introduction. It was Connie, Connie uh, Caldwell, and uh, and, and uh, Airborne Eddie, and uh, Tony, and Frank. Uh, Deshula. John Deshula, of course, and. Uh, Man, they loved Electra, and they started. You know, they they're they're good. They're all improv artists, yeah, there, yeah, right? Yeah. And and I'm all stiff. I'd never been on TV, and I'm just like I'm just there enjoying just being there. And uh, Electra could just like she she knew exactly what they wanted, yeah. you know. And they they'd open up. The, they're just winging it, you know. It was loosely about a movie, you know, that we're introducing. And she would just make up a story that was so funny that was in the right theme. And just as long as they needed until she noticed it was time to like transition. She was just a natural comedian. Yeah. Just a great and that was that was a talent. As far as I know, she never like had any like theater or acting or, or anything. Maybe she had, I don't know. But 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 she was a real real comedian. Yeah. Comedic yeah. actor, yeah. improv. She knew Bella Lugosi, or was that part of the shtick that she was? Just... I don't know that she had a picture of it in her house because I loved her. 
Oh, she did. Yeah, we partied for a break. Yeah. Gerald Strong, how are you, sir, in Alabama? Nice to see you. Welcome to the lounge. You're looking relaxed with that drink in one hand, a pet in the other. Mary's got a drink in one hand, a pet in the other, right here. We're just reminiscing about some of the lounge greats. Is getting a pizza. The dog is very comfortable at a piano. Bar. French poodles over there, Barbara Fisher. Let us know when you get to the Carlisle. We have them. We got poodles. We got poodles of poodles. Poodles of poodles. Why? Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I, Gerald Strong? Take a chance when romance. Passes by. Why? Why shouldn't I? Sometimes um, feels shy sometimes when he gets up to the on stage and really? begins a set um, at, at times. And uh, I was watching the film in, in post production of a few years ago. The piano was over there, and there's you know, this guy getting up for a set, and it's like everyone's talking, nobody's paying attention. And he just kind of e eases into it, you know. As if he didn't want to draw attention to himself. 
and he went into that song, Why Shouldn't I? And uh, it was so, so, so great that I, I usually start with it just like because he started it that one night. So I had never heard the song before. <laughs> Word songwriters probably don't use a lot anymore. What are you on? <laughs> Debutante? song with the yeah. with the word debutante. <laughs> what do you want? I want to be your debutante. <laughs> jogging our memories. How's the weather in Alabama, Gerald? I bet it's really warm. I used to have kin in Tuscaloosa. You have to use the word kin when you're talking to somebody in Alabama. They don't use that term in Buffalo. Here, here they have peeps. We have peeps, they got kin. Where did that term come, peeps? All of a sudden people started using that. I've never used the term. Not that it's anything wrong with it, I just never... My people. Let my peeps go. Yeah. Yeah. Let, it, so, let just let the word go. <laughs> it sounds like something that would be a slang in the 20s. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it came back again. You never know. Like the, like the keto diet. People yeah. think. <laughs> was, I don't know what we said. I know other people want it. I guess that was all the big rage in the 20s. Everyone was like, And they called it that, yeah. too? It was called the, yeah. Oh. The, yeah, what they is the Yeah. And they So well, you, you 
do something to me no one else could do. around with this a little more. We, we do. It's just so bizarre the thing, the behavior of this thing is just really oh cool. I never pressed suggest video. Oh wait. It's asking me to suggest somebody else's video. Why would we want to do that? You do something to me. Here we go. Oh, I was watching somebody else's. I was watching Gary Mooney's because he was cool enough to share it. Um, now I can see. Bill Jenkins is present. Now the party begins. kind of hoarding my favorite songs waiting for uh, Paul Kakoda to get here. You go to my head and you linger like a haunting refrain and I find you spinning around in my brain The bubbles in a cheap glass of champagne. <laughs> this goes out to the Carlisle room where they're listening to us tonight. You go to my head. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Let's ask her to do it when she checks in. Hold up the phone so we can see the room. I love that. Mention of you. The kicker in the big wazoo. The thrill of the thought that you might give a thought to my plea cast a spell over me. Still, you say to myself, Self, get a hold of yourself. Never be. You go to my head with a smile that makes my temperature rise like a summer with a thousand Julys. Thank you. You intoxicate so with your eyes. Search. 
pretend that this heart of mine hasn't a ghost of a chance in this crazy romance. President of WBIG is here, Mary. <laughs> you go to my No wonder he was barking. Yes. She. Good girl, Rosie. That's what cats are so good at. Yeah, it's like something so good that's gonna bother you. Unless it's a rabbit or something. <laughs> yeah. the cats think that you want to be alerted to game, not, not, not threats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like something's coming, somebody answered the door. Yeah, it's, it's every man for himself if there's a threat. <laughs> but they'll share their their game with you, their prize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the most did Often, yes. It's Ryan, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you, sir. Ryan's old fashioned. He likes those old fashioned things. The sound of rain. On that window pane, April sings. Like to welcome Ms. Bolander, great singer, show business. You know Jana Bolander? Wow, boy, you gotta check out her. What a great singer. Loves the old songs. She's a lounge cadet in good standing. Nice to see you lounging tonight with us. We're here with Mary Kate O'Connell, Rosie, the dog, Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG TV, Mary Quinn's Goldman, the buzz. She's buzzing again. Better than ever, complete with sketches. How did the buzz ever exist without those sketches? I don't they know. They seem inseparable now, don't they? I know, absolutely. Immediately inseparable? Yes. <laughs> Paul Cocote is bringing a pizza over, right? And he's going to put anchovies on my slices. <laughs> happens to have some in the lining of his jacket. <laughs> That's right, Bill Jenkins. I, I've got a, a fondness for uh, Alabama. My, uh, some of my family lived in it. Alabama for a number of years, and I used to go down and visit in my youth. In uh, my first uh, muscle car, I went down there to, to pick it up because I found it on one of my uh, one of my trips down. I still have the car. Stars fell on Alabama. They fell on cherry strong. Stars fell on Alabama. Steve's 
Stepanovich is with us. Nice to see you. Stefan and Wizzy's on our way. A couple of screws are right in here. <laughs> Mary, uh, door. A couple of screws are at the door. You, you know what a screw is? They didn't know what screws are, and they are screws, <laughs> right? Isn't that what they used to call prison guards? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't make that up. Nobody, nobody knew that. I learned that from watching John Otto. It's Tina, ladies and gentlemen. And she brought Lizzie with her. Because Lizzie's back in town. Nice to see you, Tina. back in town. These are prison people, ladies and gentlemen. You can't beat prison people. Bring out the tin cups. They know humanity. They know how to take care of people. Especially if they act up. So you got a new uh, the a new theater? Yeah, I'm going to bring you one of these. This sounds exciting, exciting news. Yeah, it is exciting news. We're uh, it's a it's a larger space and it's in a neighborhood which we love being in a neighborhood. It's at the Philip Sheridan School on Elmwood, and the developer is going to make 157 or so uh, senior homes within it, and the wow. and it's also going to be a hub for other things so that the neighborhood like. Things like uh, you know, the AAA might be there. You know, different different things, different areas of it's is kind this, of a one-stop shop. Is this like a is this like a thing? Because um, in you know, and in is yeah, places. I know. Is it this kind of along the same lines? It's along the same lines, but not, not like exactly. This is this is a, a an old, ready, established. A building, so we're just going to have to rehab some things. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Andy's very excited about this too. Now, Elmwood and what? What? It's on Elmwood near Sheridan, uh, oh. like the corner of St Andrew's Church and Devon Lawrence across the street, and um, it's just a block up. It's a Are huge blonde brick yeah. building. So is it is it on the north side of the? Uh, oh, don't get me north and south. Uh, what school is it? Like away from Buffalo. It used to be the Philip Sheridan. It was the first school closed when they started closing. So it's past Sheridan if you're coming it's from past Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And it's closer to Kevin Morrison. Right. On Elmwood? Is it on Elmwood? No, it isn't. It's a, it's the oh, other way. On, it's the other way on Elmwood. It's the opposite corner of St. Andrews. Yeah. So it is so it's, it's so it's very close to share. Oh yeah. But it's uh, very convenient for our, our, our So it's before you before you get to share. Or do you cross share if you're coming from Buffalo? Coming from Buffalo you cross share. You do cross share. It's on my old neck of the woods. Wow, I September know. 1st will be in already. I know. It's just like less than a month. I know. <laughs> Play some heavy songs. Yeah. <laughs>
like to welcome uh, why I should have Melinda Miller and Mike. They're here? Well, they're, they're, uh, get over here. Yeah, get over yeah, here. Yeah, Mary Kane's here. Mary Kane O'Connell is so many, oh, yeah. oh, it'd be great so many new guys yeah. along with the rest of the, send her a message. rest of oh, the group. <laughs> yeah, send her a message. I bet I should have, I didn't think of that. And then when I take my break, I'll, I'll eat it. You get a break? Yeah, four hours. <laughs> in daydream I've got daydreams galore cigarette ashes there they go on the floor I'll go away weekends leave the keys in the door why Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. That's not for me, cause I can't see my kind of crazy world. Go passing me by. So let people wonder. Let them laugh, let them frown. You know I'll love you till the moon's upside down. Don't you remember?
Why try to change me? Why try to change me? Why try to change me now? Cy Coleman, Melinda Miller, Mary Case. What a great group we have here tonight. These are the these are the people that understand show business. Good girl. Go get Tina. Betty out there, you know. It's always great to see Betty, whether she's on this side of the camera, that side of the camera. She always looks great. She certainly lives the lounge lifestyle that we all we don't represent. Try to anyway. Pizza Academy. Oh, 
People are loving the pizza, Paul. Even Mary's going to have some. And she's been on a diet since 1957. The keto diet. She can only eat pizza. Nice, nice thick crust. Yeah. The way we like it here in Buffalo. I sort of, I sort of know them. I, I, I go there occasionally. <laughs> but it's, it's, it is a good pizza. Are the stars? Are the stars out tonight? You know, throughout this hour, Harry Warren and Al Tobin. Yeah, except I'm reading it off the music. Oh, this is just a gorgeous song. I think even Sherry Burns would, would, would say that this is a great song. Sherry are the stars out tonight. I don't know. On a con I Day and then you just watch, you just read the thing. I was doing all right, nothing but rainbows in my sky. I was doing all right till you came by. Whenever you're away 
and suffer all the day. I just sit and wonder if life isn't one big wonder. But when you hold me tight, tingling all through, I feel all right. I was doing all right, but I'm doing better than a big fat pizza now. show and you sit down and just start popping out stuff I like so. that. I, <laughs> I love the songs that um, I regret to call the, the nonsense lyric songs. Nonsense lyrics. Yeah. We used to write songs, lyrics, just to go with the notes. And sometimes they were funny enough to keep it. Like they were, they were yeah, right. Yeah, that, that sounds like good, that sounds like a good methodology. Yeah, because you got to start with one or the other, basically. So I think the Beatles did that on some of theirs. You know, Irving Berlin was once asked, "What do you write first? Uh, what comes first, the melody or the lyrics?" And he said, "The money." <laughs> <laughs> well, that would motivate you. Yeah. <laughs> he was incredible, though. Yeah. What did he, did he say, Mary Kate? Well? I missed the answer. What did he say? They said, if, when he was asked what comes mm -hmm. first, yeah. the lyrics, the melody, I'll take that. Uh, the lyrics and melody, he said the money. The money. Oh, how funny. <laughs> he was so funny. You know what's truly remarkable? <laughs> it's Rogers when the runs hard. Yeah. Thank you, Bill Jenkins. Listening to all the show business conversations going around the room is. <laughs>
I can't give you anything but love. Baby, that's the only thing I've plenty of. My baby, dream a while, scheme a while. We're sure to find happiness and I'll guess all those things you've always pined for, G. I'd like to see you looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets will work. My baby, till that lucky day, you know darn well. Well, baby, I can't give you anything but love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right up there. 
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Bruce Supernaut, the man who invented lounge and party back when nobody knew what it was. Bruce was inventing it. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless she loves you. Some of these shows that I'm not familiar with. We do their music every week. So it's probably a movie. Joker's movie. Yeah. Warner Brothers. Transmission signal is reaching you out. Uh, shoot us a uh, thumbs up. Let us know you can hear us. Any finger, for that matter. <laughs> and then we'll all be alone together at the piano bar. The virtual piano bar. Because this is realitypianobar.com. together beyond the crowd above the world we're not too proud to Together, 
of it so we can always say we performed at the Cafe Carolina. Maybe Ari Silverstein's there. Am I blue? Am I blue? Beautiful. 
know there was one night I wasn't here when you were here because I remember watching it oh. through the broadcast. do this one because because like uh, Paul Cambry hasn't no. checked in yet. Right? We'll have to, oh, to save this song. Good friend of mine, Paul. This is his song. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait for Paul. When he gets here he'll, at last he'll be here. I'll just move too. Everybody's moving. Oh, show business couple Dave Wendy and McNeil. They they're, they're they're moving to Grand Island and uh, Paul Cameron just moved to Grand Island. He just sold Spalding Lake. Not his house, he sold the entire Spalding Lake. And he bought Grand Island. <laughs> Dave and Mari are going to be on the little surf area now. Yes. Yeah. Mary 
Mary Kate O'Connell, moving the theater at the time of London. I read all about it. Close to Grand Island. Closer to Grand Island, which will be convenient for her. There's the hub. It is close, you know, you're right, you, you got a 290 connection right there, and then the 190, you know, which is beautiful. I was never spellbound by a starry sky. What is there to move when love has passed you by? Then there came a midnight. This one puzzles you every time. Not by stars, but just by you. Yeah, my love has come My heart is wrapped in clover. The night Susan Peters walked in the room. I found a dream, a dream that I can speak to. A dream that I my cheek to a thrill I've never known you smile and then the spell was cast and here I am Is it for not I 
Till tonight When we looked at each other That was the end Of a beautiful friendship And just the beginning Of love Just the beginning Of love
Susan, I'm biding my time. On account of that's the kind of guy I'm. While the folks dizzy, I'm keeping busy. I'm biding my time. Next year, next year, something that's bound to happen. This year, this year, I'll just keep on napping. I'm biding my time. That's the kind of guy I'm. There's no regret when I'm seven. But my time. start 
and placed her on a pedestal apart. Planned a little hideaway that would, we would share someday. When I met her, I unfolded all my dreams and told her how she fit into my schemes of what bliss bliss is. Then the blow came when she gave me her name as Mrs. It's a good setup for the song. I guess I have to change my plan yet. I should have realized there'd be another man. I overlooked that point completely until the big affair began. Before I knew where I was at, I found myself out on a shelf and that was that. I tried to reach the moon, but when I got there, all that I could get was the air. My feet are back upon the ground. I've got the one girl, the one girl I the moon and when I got there all that I could get was the air my feet are back upon the ground I've got the one girl I've got the one girl I've lost the one girl I found yeah great song Schwartz and Beats, Beats and Schwartz. What are those Beats or Schwartz? Well, which was the one who had the job as communications director for MGM? Uh, so he never quit his job. Uh, it was Beats, Howard Beats. Yeah, and he never quit that job. He was the the um, plant for MGM. <laughs> As we used to say in the news, this is the I don't think he couldn't because he never made that much money. Yeah, yeah. no, but I guess, yeah, you would. But that's what he did. Isn't that a shame? Yeah. <laughs> same dream again last night. It, it just, it was so real. It was, I was there. It was like I was there. When I woke up, I thought I was dreaming. Helen Forrest. Helen Forrest. Where is she now? No, right. I'm watching Lounge Academy on WBIG TV, which is my Facebook wall. Please, please share us so other people could join the lounge. I never did the horse to this one. In a dream, the strangest and the oddest things appear. What is saying silly things we do? Here's one I see for me, vividly and clear. I recall you were. In it too. 
You've heard the verse? I heard the verse. I would have told you what song it was, just from hearing the verse. I had the craziest dream. Last night, yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be. There you were in love with me. I saw your lips next to mine. So I kissed them. You didn't mind it at all. When I'm away, such a break, it never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care. Say you do, my baby. Say it and make mine, make my crazy dreams true. I know, I knew the verse because Helen Forrest sang it in the recording with Artie Shaw. That's why I knew her. That was a big hit. Way back, I mean, it was before me, but I learned it. I'm not surprised. It's such a cool song. It's a great song. next to mine so I guess them. you didn't mind it one bit when I'm away such a break never happens how long can a guy go on dreaming if there's a chance that you can Ready to make my, make my crazy dreams come true. song in my mind and I forgot it. Forgot which one it was, Paul. There's so many. There's so many great songs. All right. How about something from Walter Kent? 1952. Andy Jones would know that verse. Yeah, I don't doubt it. He knew all this. He knew them firsthand when they came out. He, he did, because he was a big music fan. When I met him, he started singing these songs, and I knew them all. Because that was the shit I listened to when I was a kid. If I look at you, and begin to sing, I'm not as crazy as I seem to be. After all,
when we're in a crowd and forget the time of day. Darling, bear with me when they stare at me. Reestablishing connection with the mothership. Internet outage there. Thanks for sticking with us, everybody. Unexplainable. Internet hiccup there. Nice to see you, David. Sorry. And there's there she is. There's Jane. Thank goodness. Jane and Dave, ladies and gentlemen. Both of those cartoonists. The dog is obsessed with them. Rosie's never seen a guy in shorts like that. Oh, now she, she really likes you. They say, you know, when a dog likes a guy, you know, that's a judge of character, yeah. Legs have been Dave? It could be a cross dressing. What's, uh, what's the deal with your legs, Dave? The dog is really like, what? Did you put something on him? Like, Dog spray or something? I smear hamburger on Hamburger on your legs. Yeah. That is, it works for you. Lounge Academy here in the Lounge Cadets. What a great group we've got tonight. It's just amazing. Must not be uh, any entertainment uh, in town with all the entertainers that are here. What's the rest of the town doing? I guess they're tuned in.
were the best. Back when we were young. Barbara Fisher, what we want you to do is uh, hold up the phone 
with Lounge Academy in it and take a picture of us playing, playing the big room there. So I could say I, I played there. Can you, do, can you do that, Barbara Fisher? You might have to borrow somebody else's. You might have to have, you might have, to have an assistant take a picture of you watching Lounge Academy, and then she could, they, your friend could send you the picture. Christina Hack is lounging with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is a tremendous group of lounge cadets. How are you, Christina? Well, when those are looking up, I got done distracted by that big show business opportunity. Yeah, yes. You're right, it's not in this one. Well, she's looking that up. I'm going to do a commercial. I'd like to say a couple words for uh, one of our sponsors, Steaming Hot Wolf. And I know you're expecting me to be holding up a piece of piece of Steaming Hot Wolf, which is 100% whole wheat. It's very healthy. It's very good. It's just as good tasting as it is healthy. But just to drive home a point uh, tonight, if you can uh, give me a little artistic license, I'm holding up a piece of pizza in place of the steaming out walk. I'm going to take a bite. Mm. It's very good pizza. Mm. I'm doing great. Great, Christina. Very well, thank you. I have a fun summer. Donut business fun. And now, Christina, we're. Well, we, we usually take this, this spot in the show to talk about one of our sponsors, Steaming Hot Loaf. What we're doing is we're substituting a piece of pizza for a, what would usually be our Steaming Hot Loaf, 100% whole wheat bread. We're just juxtaposing them, the experiences. It's very good pizza. And it's, um, in some ways, it's a similar experience to eating a slice of steaming out well. And in others, it's, it's vastly different. Which allows one to compare and contrast. They're about the same size. Um, a typical slab of steaming hot wheat whole wheat bread is about the size of this uh, square of pizza because this particular piece of pizza is not it's not pizza shaped. Like, like a pie slice. This is cut into squares. This is a square box. Cocktail party pizza. They call them these party slices according to the procurer. And some tomato sauce on my chin, which is part of the experience. Oh, it was an orphaned piece of uh, pepperoni. And somebody who knows a little bit about preparing great food is our, our friend uh, Christopher. 
Christopher Adriana, man of many talents, and I know that uh, the world knows him for his uh, show business accomplishments. And many of those are not aware that he's, he's a, a, a wonderful chef, and he has some major achievements in the food service industry. I know, I know that. Um, I know that personally. I don't know if uh, you were listening into my conversation with them. We were listening. I was listening. I'm talking about uh, Christopher uh, Andriana, and uh, a lot of you know a lot of people don't associate him with his uh, culinary accomplishments because they, they he's, he's kind of pigeonholed in his show business, you know? But, uh, that's with a lot of people, creative people, it, it spills over into different, different outlets. They can't keep it in, you know? And apparently he's not listening to us talk about him, <laughs> which is really a, a blessing. Do you need something to wash it down? A beer? Um, I've got uh, I'm prepared. I know what I'm doing here. I got... I have a beverage right, right here. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's a guy who's already successful. Yeah. 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 So you get 90% of the revenue. I'm sure it'll be a lot. But, but a lot of people will like it. You know? It's a great idea. So we're going to we make compression into 10 seconds. I don't know how long the attention span is. Yeah. Yeah, that's the big thing nowadays. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're assuming anybody. Okay, Christina App. This one's called. This song uh, is called My Ideal. Can I sing the verse and then we'll come in on the, two, the top of the key? We can do that. I'll give you the key. Long ago, my heart and I got together and designed. A wonderful girl for me. Oh, what a fantasy. Though the idol of my heart can't be ordered a la carte, I wonder if she will be always a fantasy. Will I ever find the girl in my mind, the one who is my ideal? Maybe she's a dream, and yet she might be right around the corner. Waiting for me Will I recognize A light in her Let's 
she is I gotta That's play the trombone. Two pages long. Did you bring one? Oh, I think you did. I got your trombone. You've done this one, so we'll do it. I've never done this one. You know, people are always amazed to know that, that Susan Peters, that's an original. That's, that's her song. Isn't that a great song? Who would have thought? And it's written for trombone. Huh. I know, I'm buying this big band arrangement I one card at a time. That that crazy. Because we did it at school for Christmas. We need Phil. Phil wrote the charts. Phil wrote the charts. Yeah, yeah, he wrote them. If there's a trombone in there, Phil gets, finds, his, finds his opening. All right, let's do our one more. Howard, because I didn't know what This is great. This is our signature tune. So what are we going to do? This one, uh, this reminds me of um, in the old days. You had to go to the AAA and you'd wait in line. And they, and they, they, yeah, the trip tip, they call it. And they, yeah, the yellow line. And they'd be able to draw it upside down because you'd watch it. 
books instead of the verse, except for the verse. All right, well, we'll... Uh... This is a great song, though. I know. If it doesn't repeat, I could throw these away as we go. Okay, this one doesn't repeat. I can just toss that when we're done. I should put a paper shredder next to my. <laughs> and you know, they don't get mixed in. <laughs> no looking back. An intern. They shred papers like crazy on Delaware Avenue here in front of the. Got the feds across the street. They got these giant trucks pulling up, and they just sit there all day making noise and bring it out. I remember going back by the labor union hall 30 years ago and thinking, why are these great big huge bags of shredded paper out here? What are these people trying to hide? Yeah. <laughs> Turned out to be a lot. Remember? Yeah. They all went to yeah, color. Was, you were right. <laughs> Jimmy Hoffman was in one of those. I know, yeah. So they found him. They took all that makeup off Tammy Faye Baker, and there he was. <laughs> and then he said, he said, what will I do? How do we do this? Thank you. 
Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's a new one. It's good for music. Recent. Music tag. Recent. Yes. Susan Peters. I heard it. I heard it. Well, thank you, Susan. Would you mind showing the audience the black t-shirts? I think they're happy to be happy. This is uh, new in our line. Thank you for asking. Uh, this is uh, Lounge Academy. It's a black t-shirt. It's uh, pocketless. Uh, so it's, it's not good, good for nerds. Necessarily, and uh, made right here. I made, made right here in the lounge. I made it right in this room. And then I got those chrome racks in the other room. And they come in. We got heat presses. And uh, this is uh, it's harder than it looks. This you, for the, these dark shirts, you got to use uh, a special process. And uh, and it, I got it all figured out. So we got. These shirts are up on the buffalodonut.com website. So people have been ordering them. They come in black and white? Yeah. They come in, yeah. They got black and white. This is the white. Yeah, so I know the white. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 um, somebody asked, the, uh, the whites are uh, $19.99 and the blacks are uh, $24.99. And... Uh, in, in all sizes up to, uh, including XL, including extra wires. Then they go up a little because the, I don't even know those right here, so. But yeah, they're reasonably priced. It's cheaper than, than yeah. Che cheap. No, no, I didn't, but. Uh, well, we made $30. Because Kaepernick didn't want to keep it. We, we've got these on our uh, Buffalo Donut website. And it took me, well, as, as long as I am old to get the website to work, you know, where people could use credit cards and figures out. It computes the shipping to wherever they are in the country or, you know, whatever. And, and the sales tax for the right states, does all that stuff. So. So I'm happy that these shirts are finally up there this week. So what do I get? I, an order in the mail. You know, if you're doing all that. Um, yeah. Cash right in. Yeah. And but included some some dance music. John Bisky, great lounge cadet. He's probably watching tonight. And... Uh, so we didn't get to use, yeah, old school, which is kind of fitting because the design on the um, the logo design, which is the same, we've got these mugs too, ladies and gentlemen. They're they're on the website too. Do you serve coffee with your donuts? We we don't. No, we're the Department of Coffee and Donuts. We don't, we don't have coffee. I designed, I did, thank you, yes. Um, I didn't want to be the only artist in the, in the home, in the household. So I, I worked at it until, until I liked it. Um, I was thinking space age, space age and jet, and jet, jet age and space age and, and atomic age. It looked like Jetsons. Yeah, people people do make that association. I I honestly wasn't thinking of the Jetsons, but I but I could have been uh, just as well because uh, they're right in line. I saw you know what I got the idea from is some we 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 hawk albums on we have an Etsy store and we sell these old vintage albums and one of them was Space Space Age Lounge. Yeah, there was a series of Space Age Lounge. And the covers, it's on this art, and really, it got me like to, to really uh, admire and appreciate like how they how they get this look, you know, the different elements that go into it. And I love the teal and pink; it's very 50s. That's the right, yeah. 
Yeah, that, that, the Space Age Lounge is what inspired all this, which turned out to be very Jetsons, which is, which is great, because I, I think we're right on the same page. BuffaloDonut.com for all the people at home. Uh, if you want to check it out, we've got. Um, we also have Mary's uh, sketches on display. It's an all encompassing site. It's, yeah, it's getting to be because we just keep pouring everything into it and associating it somehow. Here's one we haven't done. It's not the pale moon that excites me. Just the nearness of you. It's not your sweet conversation that brings the sensation. Oh no. Just the nearness of you.
and to feel it be nice. The nearness of We've got uh, Tom Lewandowski, Christina Epps, Bill Jenkins, Sherry Burns. That's just the tip of the iceberg. It's a big lounge. Only part of it sticks up. No, no, thank you, Paul. I'm on duty. I wear a lot of hats, Aaron. Oh, oh, I thought that was for you. When I land the plane, Vince Kolb is also out there, Dave. He's a great lounge cadet in his own right. How are you, Vincent? I haven't seen Paul, and I've been holding uh, his song ready. I got it queued up. How about Dr. Barry? Barry's not either. He's kind of conspicuous by his absence. Let me know if it gets too too cold in here. I know it's it. Right. That's because you're so close to the floor. The cold it sinks. This goes out by request by uh, Paul. He's trying to stop me here. I see your face before me. I'll do the usual intro. That's where the musician learns the song. I'm familiar with it. I've never sung it. But I couldn't sing when I played it. Routing my every dream, there is your face before me. You are on my only theme. It doesn't matter where you are, I can see how fake you are. I close my eyes. If you could share the magic, if you could see me too, there would be nothing tragic in all my dreams of you. With that, my love, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a Western cowboy. And erase your beautiful face before me. What a rounding going on. If you 
could share the magic if you could see me too there would be nothing tragic all in my dreams of you great songs as we're tearing through these tomes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's amazing. That's one you like. Your sweet expression, the smile you give me, the way you looked when we met. It's easy to remember, so hard to. I hear you whisper, I'll always love you, I know it's over. shows how poor your memory is. Get up off that chair for a second. Let me hug one of my very best, most admired friends. Say hi. I, there's a little challenge that has a for sale sign on it around the corner. Yeah. You need it. Purple. What, 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 really? Sorry to interrupt you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew he was coming to town, but I, I didn't know it was this week. I didn't. Yeah, Abby, Abby, Abby gets what a great surprise. Abby gets married tomorrow. Did you have another one? Or what? Oh, I was doing this one. Have you met Walt Sucre? <laughs> <laughs> Sucre. Yeah. 
Someone said as we shook hands, he was just what suker to me. Then I said, Miss Jones, you're a girl who understands. I'm a man who must be free. That's Walt, right? Now I've met this Jones, and we'll keep on meeting till we die. Walk sooner and I. The 
Why do Robin sing in December? Long before the springtime is due. And even though it's snowing, violets are growing. I know why, and so do you. Every evening, whispering your name as they do. Why, by the feeling, stars are on my ceiling. I know why, and so do you.
this one in the thing for you. I'll Xerox it. So I don't forget all about it. I got bit by kids somewhere. I want to stay in hotels all the time. So all of a sudden one day it's like, I don't feel good. And I didn't know what happened. And I went to the doctor and he goes, eh. I go, I know there's Lyme disease going around. He goes, I'm a tissue for everything. And you know, a week later he's like, you have Lyme disease. Come here right away. People die from this shit. So what did that feel like? It felt like if you had the flu a hundred times worse. Really? Yeah. All, those, all those symptoms, it was like way If I ever got down here, but it like hits spend the weekend. It's like the first you just sit reading through these things. I love it. You know who would like to do it? Jack loved it too. But he knew it was really good. He did. It eats all this terrible stuff, it's tough to feel bad. That was like really good. That was the worst thing ever. Somebody loves me. Liar! <laughs> I wonder who. I wonder who she can be. Somebody loves me. I wish I knew who she can be. Worries me for every girl that passes me. I shout out. Nick won't. 
Won't you tell me, please, to put on some speed? Oh, my wheels, oh, how I need someone who watch over me. Voices. Thanks, Kathy. significant because we never compliment each other's musicianship. But you're refused to ever see mine, so I'm going <laughs> What does that have to do with it? <laughs> I probably saw you at Mean Guys East and didn't know it. Well, I, that doesn't count. There was no musicianship about the shit I used to do there. Just pure entertainment value. We need a place like that again. We do. That was a party day. great of a reader to um, to do them completely cold. You know, okay. as long as I kind of know how it goes, I do. About this one. Time after time. This goes out to George Clintons. I tell myself that I'm 
so lucky to be loving you. So lucky to be the one one to see in the evening when the day day is through. I only know what I know. The passing I can't deny love is so young, so new. And time after time, you hear me.
picture you on my knees, just tea for two, and two for tea, me for you, you for me. Nobody near us to see us or hear us. No friends or relations on weekend vacation. We won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone. Day will break and you'll awake. And start to break, make a sugar cake for me to take, for all the boys to see. We will raise a family, a boy for you and a girl for me. Can't you see? How happy Tina will be. Quick, turn a kick. There you go. 
one for Barbara Fisher. It's impossible. Oh, the sun in the sky. It's just impossible. It's impossible. Tell the sun, tell baby not to cry. It's just impossible. to me and not feel you going through me. Cigar parties keep your teeth sharp. <laughs> 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 and there's no negligence in my uh, satire either. <laughs> well, that would come in handy with your job because there must be some people that just have to be like given a little guidance, you know? Oh, it's really easy. They try to take over. No, it's really easy. Heckling when your cigar rep is quite different than heckling and everything else. They don't want to heckle themselves out of a free cigar. It's just so fucking cheap. We're talking five bucks and they won't speak their minds. I own you for being such a dumbass. <laughs> the song in my heart I behold your adorable face just a song at the start it's like the 60s but it soon is a hit your grace when the music swells I'm touching your hand it tells me Thank 
Thanks, Kathy. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. You're going away? Well, then you better tune in. We'll be, we'll be looking for you online, Kathy. And I help but rejoice that a song such as ours came to be. I thought you were going to dance. That swing that's not dancing. No. I would live life I'm touching your hand. Daisy! It tells me you're standing near. At the sound of your voice, heaven opened. Portals to me. Can I help but rejoice? That a song such as ours came to me. What I always knew. I would.
It's not through a sense of duty. <laughs> you are too beautiful. I am a fool for beauty. Nice work. Watching Lounge Academy on WBIG TV. We're here every Friday, 7 to 11, Buffalo, New York time. We call this the near the end of the show. We've got some blues coming up for the gentleman at the piano. They look like they need some blues. I think yeah, so. Yeah, we could be a little less bubbly. <laughs> I'll turn your harp mic on. The green bullet. Got your kick out of mic with you? Yeah, I've a player here. Oh my god, Richard. Not just any him out Well, I oh, haven't been I'm here sorry. forever. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Then you can do the national anthem. Okay. Well, Jane, I'm so glad you helped make tonight complete. I wish I could stay longer, but I'm dog sitting. Well, I understand. You got your. Not this dog. You have your little, little games you play. <laughs> We'll bring out the Mermin back from the dead since you're gone. i 
17 ways to get around in this damn town. He already left. <laughs> but I'll come back to uh, He'll come back to this just, town. Just sing something. Tell him about a Richie. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right. That's a All right, I'll start it out. Really in tune mic today. This way it'll keep them in suspense. This is a really in tune mic. 17 ways out of this town. I said there's 17 ways to get out of this town. Not just one, but 17 ways. Tell them about it, Richie. Yeah, come on, There's blow your brains out. It's an Italian word for quiet. In the music, right? Yeah. Peace. Harmonica players, Chromatic. do you like to play that style of harmonica, Rich? Oh, Toots Thielman. Oh, play some Toots. Larry Adler. Play some Toots. He I got a Toots song here. He is huge blues. I got one of Toots Thielman's songs in here. Play it. Uh, he's the best. Yeah, he's not. He was great. Wasn't do you know Bluesette? Uh, That's like his most popular one. Uh, uh, I don't know. Do you have that music? I have. 
Jean Toot Steelman called Blues on Time. in this one. I think you need to play that harp for a few minutes and get it a little bit moist and sound dry. When's the last time you played it, Richie? There's one in with one sharp. Go, let's go. Got one for okay. you. It's in G. 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 I can do also. Compliment you with a uh, E minor. Let's do a slow one, then, buddy. This is it.
shouts, don't you cry, don't you fret, you can bet one lucky day. Get set, blues at. No, it's throwing you off. Is that it's it's uh it's a uh, regular song. It's a pop song. It's not blues changes. I just say yeah, he, does, he plays along with anything. All right. Yeah. Just say. It's harder on a chromatic. <clears throat> you got. I think you need a chromatic for this tune because yeah. it modulates so much. All he played was chromatics. Like you want to run through this one again, or you want to do something else? You, you heard this one. Oh man, I've heard this a million times. You know, it's the player. Right? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to. I want to hear Richie play. I want to hear him yeah. play where he's comfortable. I don't want to put him in his spot. What's the song you want to play? What do you like to play in Chromatic Rich? This one you James Cotton fan, Richie? Try this one. I, I've heard you. This will be a a happy this, this one will be a good one for you. And you and you're familiar with it. I can hear you doing nice things in this.
Nice, Richie. Tony Golden, boy, on the piano. That's unreal. It's amazing how you could just play to anything. Cueing, wavelengths. Van Morrison. Van Morrison, wavelengths. Remember that song? It's because we've been playing together since Suburban Lanes. Oh my God. Right. Treadwell. Treadwell, wow. yeah. Treadwell. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, then Eggert Freeze and now uh, Jim Morrison. Then a lot of the town. Other people are so Tom, nice seeing you, sir. Uh, yeah, he's got your phone number. I'll give you the I'll text you the number. Oh, the, uh, well, just let me know where it is. I'll just drive by it. I don't want to get so close that I call the guy. I don't have a place to put it. I got a driver. It looks good, my driver. I think you should get it. Love you guys. Let's see you soon. Yes, sir. Uber safely. Jam hallway. I understand. Another jam. How many you got? You got like four? Yeah. <laughs> I never even know. Yes, it can. <laughs> it's very clear. She's making a statement of his own. Oh, I didn't mean to step on the American National Anthem. Hopefully the Donald is in watching. <laughs> are you still on the air? We are. This is how we conclude. I'd love to burn one with you. Hmm? I'd love to burn one with you. If you have time. Or can. And catch up. You still do that. I don't want to force you to do something you don't like. Now I go do the dishes. WBIG. Isn't Beautiful, that hard? Richie. Thank you. Thank you, Richie. I'll do my dishes. Very much that enjoyed. That concludes another I'm night of you enjoyed it. Another well, day of broadcasting. You seem to know some harmonica theory. Uh, the I position. used to teach her. I'll see you next week. Wow. Wow. 
I didn't know that we were really signing off. I was just getting down to the job. Dude, I just want to hear you play. Oh, you should it's teach enjoyable. Monica. Wow. Keep lounging, everybody. We'll see wow. you in seven days. That's awesome. I never.